All right, today's video is going to cover uh, encrypting files with uh, GPG or OpenPGP. Uh, um, we will be using the GPG 4Win uh, software with Cleopatra. A uh, link to that website where you can download it will be in the description. Um, this is a, a good way, a quick way to uh, encrypt files on Windows, uh, more notably Windows 10. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So first off, once you get G, uh, GPG 4Win installed in 3.1, as well as Cleopatra, you're gonna wanna open up your Cleopatra uh, software. As you can see here, uh, I have a flat file in the background that we're gonna be using to encrypt. It's just a sample data set from one of uh, my test tables in my database. I kind of just pulled out, you know, eight rows and um, we're gonna use that as an example. So first off, once you're in here, you can either click new key pair um, or import, but for today, we're gonna to be looking at uh, creating a new key. So uh, these are optional fields, but um, it's good to at least uh, populate the name. So I'm just gonna put Pro Professor Pitch. Email is optional. Email is good for the uh, customer or audience that you'll be sharing the public key with so they can manage uh, on their key ring which key belongs to who. All right, so we're going to hit create. Passphrase, we're going to create a passphrase. Let's do um, go. Hit OK. Creating it. It's created successfully. You have three options here. You don't have to choose any of these. Uh, if you want to uh, create a backup, you can select this option. Send public key. This is really useful, especially if you have uh, Outlook. Uh, enable it on your machine. Um, I'm going to forego that step. Um, uh, so I'm just going to hit finish. All right, we now we now have um, our key, and this is storing our private secret key as well as our public key uh, in the event that we want to encrypt something ourselves and then need to decrypt it. Um, there's no need to uh, import a public. Everything's already on the key ring. All right, so we're going to click here, sign encrypt. Uh, let me go ahead and delete uh, delete these two. All right, so this is that test file that I'm looking at in the background. We're going to choose this file. We're going to hit open. It's going to ask you here. So in the event that you had multiple keys uh, on your key on on your key ring within Cleopatra, uh, you would you would need to select uh, which key you're encrypting with. Uh, if you want to rename the file here, you can do it here as well. Um, but since that file doesn't exist, I'm just going to let it. Uh, title it test.txt.gpg, sign encrypt, en encryption succeeded, finish. All right, now let's go take a look in this folder. Uh, our file is here. If we open this with, um, let's see what, what our default is here. All right, it's like it didn't pop up. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's try this one more time. All right, as you can see here, uh, this is the file. It's encrypted. Um, and so that's good working confirmed all right so now let's delete this uh or we could just move this file into some other um folder so now what we want to do is we want to decrypt it so in here all right um yep so decrypt it's saying that it's going to take it from test.txt.gpg down to test.txt uh, using my encryption key we're going to save it here and just like that because the because it's my key and it's already on my key ring there's no need um, for anything we just open this up and we're back to the original uh, test file all right one other, one other thing that you'll want to do is um, obviously now that you've created a private uh, gpg key you're going to want to uh, share that key with someone so um now what you need to do is export the public key so let's go ahead and uh 
work with this right here. So we're going to, in our window here, uh, we're going to select the key. So this is our private key. I now need to, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to do Export. Uh, I want to title this, uh, we'll just call it Professor Pitch.ASC. Save. Go to our folder. And now this is the key that you would share with uh, customers. So like uh, if, if I wanted someone to encrypt a file to send to me, they will need to use my public key so that when the, the, I receive the file, I have the private key and I have the passphrase, I can unlock it. So basically this would be the key that you would need to give your customers or your audience or wh whoever you need to encrypt the file that's gonna be coming to you, uh, vice versa. Uh, in the event that you would need to um, encrypt a file for someone else, they would send you their public key and then you would choose this import option right here. So basically you would have a key here stored and you would just um, import that in and it would come in on your key ring and you'd see the line item show up right here. Um, so, all right, if you have any questions or concerns, leave those down in the comment section. Don't forget to like or subscribe to the video. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.